Hello, I'm Shane McLaughlin. I'm a researcher at the University of Chichester in the UK. I'm originally from Kells um, and I study learning and I'm hoping that I can do a research study at the school, um, at your school. Okay, so I would like to talk a little bit about through uh, what it is that I'd like to do and why I'd like to do it and what it involves for you uh, before you agree to take part. Okay, so I'm going to change my screen here so you should be able to see what I'm looking at. Um, and then I'm going to quickly go through the information page, okay? So there's a particular kind of brain training that um, was developed at Maynooth University. And what we find is that when people do this training, this cognitive training, they their IQ scores go up, their school grades go up, and a uh, number of other things depending on which study you look at and I'll show you some of those in a few moments um, and this is uh, they're, they're going up substantially not the next best intervention for improving IQ after this one raises IQ by two to three points on average whereas there was one study in, in an Irish secondary school last um, last year and they had an average IQ rise of 23 points. Now what I'd like to do for part of my uh, doctoral research is to see whether if we do this on a larger scale that allows us to, um, if, if these results hold up and of course if we can help people do better at school, will grades be better, will people enjoy it? So we really want to test um, how well this works on a relatively large scale. Okay, so that's the purpose. Ideally what we'll be doing is a six week block in ICT class. So in your ICT class normally you'll do computer coding and it you still can do computer coding if you want but uh, if you want for six weeks of the year you will be able to do this SMART training. So SMART just means strengthening men mental abilities with relational training. So what is relational training? I think that's important to talk about. It's not really that scary at all. In fact, it can be quite fun. So if we have a look at this particular page here, you can you can see what kinds of things it involves. It's about deriving relations between nonsense words in this case. So if somebody tells you that foi is opposite to ped, is ped also opposite to foi? And the answer will be yes. Now you can imagine on another question you might have foi is more than ped and you're asked is ped more than foi and the answer would be no because when you switch those two things around it becomes a less than relation not a more than relation and so you exercise these things called relational skills and it turns out that when you raise relational skills we start to see people doing better in education generally speaking um, across a number of different measures and it what this essentially means is it's tr it's increasing uh, your ability to avail of the opportunities to learn that that's provide that are provided to you by your teacher. So in this case, what it means for you practically is you can do better in school. Um, it will mean that with the same amount of effort you can learn more things, or with um, with less effort you will learn uh, the same amount of things. Okay, so it really is designed to make your life easier, and it takes the format of a kind of a an online game, and like almost like a game on Facebook, and it's an alternative to your your coding class, um, and the thing is, you'll have your six week block, but after the six week block, you will be able to train for the rest of the year by just playing this game. Uh, but you'll be able to do that at home. You'll have access to it. Maybe you might want to play that instead of your, your Xbox or your PlayStation, um, even for 15 minutes a week. Um, if you can do more, all the better. And what, I'm, what you can do is earn points, no matter what level you're at. Okay, so that the, the early levels are very, very easy. You might have something like FOI is the same as PED, is FOI the same as PED? And of course the answer is yes there. And you get very small steps across 70 stages um, that allow you to get better but it's not they're not such big jumps between stages that it'll be really really difficult you really do um, get to improve these kinds of skills okay so I'm going to show you this training really briefly now there I am online here I am 
So it looks something like this. You can see how you can earn these badges um, if we scroll down across each stage. So that's the first 29 stages. The other stages are in module 2 and 3 as you can see. And you'll have to learn how to derive these kinds of relations between um, sameness relations, opposition relations, more than and less than relations. And they get more and more complex as you go along, but only very gradually, so it's manageable. Um, okay, so as you can see up at the top, there's a little kind of a trophy beside where you'll see me. Um, you can unlock achievements. And besides that, there's another little thing with a tick that's where you can earn points and since you don't have to do this training um, in class after the six week period if you decide to do more at home um, what I'm going to do is for every point that you earn in this game I will count that as a raffle ticket and I'll do a monthly raffle whereby um, in each class or not in each class in each class group so we're putting two classes together in this case um, we will have a draw for one um, 40 euro prize and one 20 euro prize. So that's a way of, in a sense, rewarding people for uh, taking part and doing extra at home. But to be honest, I think that the real reward is what you'll get out of this. It should, in theory, make school easier. It should help you to do better, to, to make learning easier for you. Um, and we want to test just to make sure that that's true. Okay? So you've had a look here. If I go into stage one, I've set it so that it's difficult. Um, you'll be able to see the interface now. Um, I've set it so it's more difficult for me at every stage. So I've tweaked around with the settings. This is a test account and it tells me the answer. Okay. So in this case, it tells me the answer is already no. And this is one of the more complex ones that you can find. So this wouldn't be the real stage one. Um, so we want to know is qual more than luz? Well, it's more than kef. Um, qual is less than tiv, and tis, tiv is less than luz, because the reverse of a more than is a less than relation. Okay, so that means that luz must be more than qual. Okay, so that's not true. No. And then it moves on, and you'll get a block of 16 of these at a time that'll be mostly the same format. Okay, so I'm going to go out of there. And so no matter what level you're at you will be able to get some benefit out of this because it starts off um, relatively easy and you can you can improve from any point so this has been done with kids as young as seven and all the way up to adults as old as their 70s and 80s um, in a study that they have in Italy so I'm going to go back now just for a moment to the information page um, so what are we testing? What kind of tests will you have to do? Sometimes that can be a bit scary, um, but I don't think that there's anything too bad here. I have a test of cognitive ability, which usually involves you recalling information. Um, then you'll also have some things like pattern recognition. So you'll have a puzzle and you'll have to complete that. And that's, that's what that involves. I can show you that mo for now, now, actually, I think. Um, let me have a look. So I'm running it on a program called Qualitrix and I'll search for that now. And here we go, I'll log in. And it has saved my email address. That's my email address if anybody would like to contact me by the way. Okay. And so if we move on to the next page the Kaufman brief is the name of this particular um, this particular particular test so with riddles and verbal knowledge they're roughly the same kind of thing they're just about uh, remembering bits of information so with verbal knowledge you might have something like six different pictures and you'll be you'll have to ask the question will be which one is a block or is a block is a clock um, and you will have to uh, select which one it is and then you'll go through a lot of those different things and some are more difficult to identify later on um, but most people will get most of them right I think then we have matrices which is the, the one that that's really different from that and that's it starts out with matching a picture to another picture so in this case shoe goes with foot 
or if we go way down here we have more abstract patterns so I'll show you an example let's take this one okay so here we can see that we have a triangle and a circle and a square in each row and the difference is that you have uh, lines it differently spread in each row so in the bottom one we're missing our square so we know that it's either a c or f and all of the other lines in that row are straight up but very close together which means that the answer should be f so you will just have to complete that puzzle by selecting which one okay so it's nothing too daunting i don't think um, and if you do have other questions about it i can show you um, all of the answers now before you do it of course but um, I'm happy to go through with you and we, we can have a look okay oh, it's logged me out and then there's another thing it's um, a personality test so rather than just cognitive ability we like to factor out um, other things like um, some people are more extroverted you know they're, they're more um, outgoing things like that and we can account for that. So that is a thing called the Big Five Aspects Scale. That just asks you relatively simple questions that you'll see now in a moment. And here they are. This is something you can do at home in your own time. I'll, I'll be able to send you a link like that. I get easily irritated, to gr agree or not. Um, I rarely lose my composure. Uh, so that's, that's one thing. Okay. And then we go down here. Um, I like to do things for others so they're relatively simple questions just kind of self-report things where you'll be able to see um, you'll be able to essentially give your opinion on on how you behave in certain situations and we'll be able to do that for everybody okay besides that um, we have other things other tests like relational ability it's it's very similar so I won't look at it it's very similar to what you've already seen um, and so relational ability is just a measure of the skill that we're training and then the test is to see whether that transfers to your school grades does that transfer if we train relational ability does your IQ go up does your um, do your school grades get better if, if you've if you've trained more that kind of thing um, and so it could be really exciting and I hope that it helps a lot of people and that you enjoy it um, okay so I'm gonna scroll down So you'll be able to see these yourself. Um, there are lots of benefits. Okay, so I'll, I'll have a look. This is one study that was carried out in a secondary school last year. So of all the studies, this is perhaps the most relevant for a secondary school. Um, they had a 23-point average jump. So that uh, jump was from 97 average IQ in the group to 120 as an average, which is uh, very, very high. That's the IQ that you need to study medicine for example um, then you have the lowest IQ which is 84 to 106 which is which means that you've got somebody who is you know maybe somebody who has a reading difficulty for example um, might be characterized you know they might score an 84 and then 106 is above normal like above the kind of average reading level uh, the above the average maths level so you should be achieving uh, much higher then so that that's that's a really cool thing to be able to do and then of course even for people with high IQs of 119 already they go up to 140 which is where people start throwing a world around words like gifted and genius so we're very proud of that so far um, and just not only is it effective but people seem to enjoy it so if I go to for example oh there's me if I go here you can go to raise your IQ on YouTube so RYIQ um, and what you find is di different experiences of people who took part and they all seem to have enjoyed it you can see parents saying that that it's definitely worthwhile teachers everybody so far seems to enjoy it and there's lots of information on it and there's a video um, of people on TV3 News and they're going through um, one study that was done in at boy which is not too far from you guys and what it involves and you can see people doing it and that they seem to enjoy it 
okay so you'll be able to see that um, there's lots of videos and of course there are some lectures from the researchers involved for anybody that's interested in that kind of thing okay so last thing is what do you have to take part no you can continue to do your coding class which of course is very valuable and you'll be doing that throughout the year anyway generally um, but this is an opportunity to take part in this study if you think that it might be fun and it might benefit you and if you want to drop out at any stage you can do and of course if you want an update on how you're doing so far you can contact me and I'll be happy to um, explain how you're doing okay um, also you can you can talk to your teacher and, and talk to uh, Paul or Stephen or whoever it is that will be running your part oh pardon me and so yeah you'll be able to ask whatever questions you need to if there's something you're unsure of that's fine okay so let me see what happens if you change your mind you can tell me not to use um, your your data so you can say alright I want my results back I don't want them to be in and I don't want to take part and that's perfectly fine okay so if you try it and you don't like it that's okay um, what will happen well nobody will know your results apart from me and my supervisors I've only got four um, so they'll be um, researchers here at the university um, besides that uh, your school will have a look at certain results if that is relevant um, so in other words we'll try not to talk about individuals unless there's a particular problem or something but we don't think that'll happen because people tend to enjoy this um, but we want to let the school know how the group are doing generally okay so besides that um, all your data will be con uh, confidential we won't publish any of this data any of this information that you give us from your test results um, anyway publicly unless it's completely anonymous in a research paper for example okay so you don't have to worry about that um, do get in touch if you're interested in taking part um, or not if you're interested in taking part if you've any questions and I'll be happy to Skype with anybody if there are any phone calls that anybody would like to make or I will be over and back to Ireland quite frequently because uh, my family live very nearby so I can meet with people and I'm very very open about what we're doing here and I want to make sure that everybody's comfortable and and is enthusiastic about it like I am and like um, like the rest of the researchers on this team are okay thanks for taking the time I hope that you enjoyed this little introduction and I hope to speak to you soon.